So in today's video, I am going to show you how to transfer your game data, your save data, as well as move your micro SD card from your old Nintendo Switch to your new um, Nintendo Switch, in this case, the OLED version, what I have at the top. So let's get started. What we're going to do first is focus on setting up the old Switch for data transfer. So from the home screen, we're going to go into system settings. Then we're going to scroll down to users. And then we're going to scroll down here. And right now you can see I have one profile on here. That's mine. Right here it says transfer a user data. So we're going to click on that. We're going to click next. We're going to click next. Now it says to please connect an AC adapter. And I wanted that message to come up because I wanted to, to show you that you definitely need to have um, an AC adapter connected to both switches when doing this transfer because the last thing you want to happen is if you're low on battery power and the, the, the switch dies on you, you might end up with a brick or even two bricks. So let me go get my charger and hook it up right now. So I've hooked up my charger and this page comes up next. So we have to select which one is this. Is it the source console or the target console? So obviously this is the source console and it's already highlighted by default. So the next thing I do is press A. And then it tells you, it shows you the profile, which is this profile, my profile. And it says that the data will be transferred uh, for this profile, my user information and my saved data. So that's good. I'm just going to press continue. And now at this point, we're going to go to the target console and set that up. So here we have our, con our target console. And um, I plugged in the AC adapter power here. So let's go here and we're going to go to the home screen. And um, we're going to go to system settings. And then the next thing I want to do, obviously, is go to Users. And I'm going to go down to Transfer User Data. Click Next. Click Next. And this is the Target Console, so I select that one. And now I have to sign into a Nintendo account. So I'm just going to sign into my Nintendo account. So let me do that now. Sign in using my email address. Let me do that. So let me sign in right now and then let's continue the video. So after I've signed in, it's detected the profile from my original device and they're ready to pick, they're paired. And now when I press next, the user data, game data for that profile will be transferred over to this. So let's press next. Oh. Alright, so now the source, console, uh, the source console has been found. Now what we're going to do is look at both of these together and I am going to start the transfer. Okay, so I have them side by side again. So here is the transfer button that came up on this uh, source console. I'm just going to press that button. And we have a transfer in progress. So the user information and save data for that profile have been transferred. It takes about roughly a minute or less. And there you go. So on the source console, it shows you the tick mark. The user information and save data has been transferred. And we also have the acknowledgement on the new device. So I just press end on both. And then I can press OK on this. I can turn it off. And now let's focus our attention on completing the uh, setup of the origin of the new um, switch. Now, before we uh, finish the setup on the new switch, there's one other thing I want to do, and that's take out the micro SD card out of the old switch and put it into the new one. So I'm just going to take it out. Turn 
this off for a second. Put in the new the switch, the micro SD card in the new switch. And press continue. And here we have a message that comes up. You just zoom in so we can see it. So in effect, what this, the message is saying is that the micro SD card is currently being used with another Nintendo Switch, right? Which was the old one, which we, we, we have here. And, or was used with this console before it was formatted. So this Nintendo Switch data that's stored on that card must be deleted for it to be used now with this new console. So, and then the console will restart after deleting the data. Suspended software will be closed and save data, screenshots, videos, and any other non-Nintendo Switch data will not be deleted. All right, so I'm just gonna say delete. System is rebooting here now. And we're back in the system here. Now, let's finish the setup. So I'm just gonna press the little screen button. Now, what's missing from here, obviously, is all of my downloaded games uh, from the cloud that I would have purchased. So how would I find those um, games to re-download them onto my new Switch? What we do, we have to go to the Nintendo eShop. And of course, I'm selecting my profile that we just recently set up. I'm going to enter the password for my Nintendo account. So let me do that now. And now we are in the Nintendo eShop. So what we do, we scroll down here. Actually, sorry, we touched the right here, the little pro, my little profile icon here, the top right hand corner. And here is where I see my, there's a, um, there's a word here that says re-download. So I click on re-download. And on the right here are all of my purchased games from the cloud. And all I do is click this little picture of a cloud with an arrow put, I'm pointing out of it to just re-download all that software. So I'm gonna do that now for all of my games. So I have six games that I purchased in the cloud. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now these downloads will happen in the background and so I can continue using my device. I can play, uh, I do have a cartridge in there. I have um, FIFA in there. So I could play my FIFA game if I wanted to while these are still downloading. And you can actually see each of these uh, tiles, uh, well, the game, the I call it the box art for each game that if, if I'm, I'm downloading from the from the cloud. Uh, if you zoom in on the Contra one right here, if I zoom in, you can actually see there is a progress bar, right? See the little white line, right? So as the games download, that progress bar will progress, and then you would see, you know, when the download is complete, you can start playing the games again from the uh, that you downloaded from your eShop. So, there's one last thing I want to talk about, and that's very important. For those of you who have or played a game called Animal Crossing, um, you know, if you want to transfer your data from your old Switch to your new Switch, you do well, everything that I showed you just now has nothing to do with Animal Crossing. If you want to do um, transfer Animal Crossing over, there's another way you're supposed to do it. Because if you did it this way, the way I just did it, you're, you're gonna lose all of that game data that you've saved will be deleted and you don't want that. So how do you transfer Animal Crossing over to your new Switch? What you do, you go to your, and this would be on the, on your original console, right? If I can just show you where how to where, where, where to find the tool that will help you do it on the switch so on your original imagine you this is your original console and you're going to transfer animal cost from here to another switch for example you go to the eShop 
So let's log back in here. And then what you're going to do is enter the password for my eShop. And then what we're going to do is search for Animal Crossing. And if I scroll down, I should be able to find something called, oh, it's right here. The Animal Crossing Island Transfer Tool. Let me just zoom in so you can see it. Right here, this here, right here. Animal Crossing New Horizons Island Transfer Tool. You would actually install this on your um, on your device. Let me just zoom out again. So you would install this tool on your original um, Nintendo Switch system, right? Um, and just follow the instructions. Uh, and I would assume that you would need to install this same tool on the new Switch as well, because they need to communicate, right? And it's, as it says here, you transfer your Animal Crossing, New Horizons Island to another Nintendo Switch system. Because uh, I've played this game and I've spent literally, I think I've done over 100 hours <laughs> on that, you know, building up my island. And the last thing I would want to do is lose all that data, right? Uh, so just let you know, this is the tool that you use and it's free to download. Okay? So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do your transfer. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. So till next time, stay safe and happy gaming. So I hope you enjoyed that last video. Now, if you liked this uh, video and you liked it, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you subscribe to, to my channel, I'm appreciative of that as well. So thank you very much. Um, so listen, there's going to be a lot more content coming out this year and beyond. Um, I plan to be doing quite a few different types of reviews. And I'm also starting to do giveaways now, finally. So that being said, happy gaming and stay safe. Bye-bye.